The idea is for this third world war to involve Russia and China against the West. Yeah. Oceania versus Eurasia, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the 1984 kind of uh, scenario. And uh, what you um, have now is the demonization of Russia. Have you noticed that? How suddenly the, the, we got the demonization of Russia? And what's um, opening up um, in the Ukraine, while all this is starting to go on in the Middle East, is, is another front against Russia. Because, you know, it's very easy to see how Russia can be uh, pulled in to this Middle Eastern uh, conflict by supporting Syria, because destroying Syria is, is, is part of ISIS's agenda and American agenda and, and NATO's agenda. And also Iran as well. Yeah, and destroying Iran, yeah. So, um, uh, and, and, and Russia would come out in support of Iran, and, and I, the, the same would happen with China. Um, and so you can see how it's how how the the pieces in the in the uh, in the game are being moved around to um, create the scenario that Pike talked about. And the the um, the idea is to um, basically um, bring everything to its knees, so that. Um, the world would have to be rebuilt in its structure and the way it, 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 it operates and it would that would be in the image of what they've been working towards all along. World government, world central bank, world army, world currency, centralized control of the planet. Uh, and um, it's very um, it's very easy to see with current events how it's uh, moving in that direction. And uh, we, we need to um, understand what the goals are to understand what the moves towards that goal uh, that goal are and um, when you look at it from this perspective what is happening in the Middle East is not random none of it's been random Libya's not been random S Syria's not been random none of it and ISIS certainly isn't random yeah. uh, it's part of this um, long-term plan to take over the world by creating enormous chaos to which they can offer the order out of the chaos their order, their new world order. Problem, reaction, solution, order out of chaos. You know, they set up the problem, U.S. funds with NATO, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, ISIS, and Syria to go after Assad. The, you know, they stop, uh, Russia stops the U.S. from attacking them, so they find a different way. Now ISIS is running loose. Israel, for the first time ever, is saying it's not even a problem. Yeah. Meanwhile, they backed everything from the very beginning, and they're creating this awful situation. They're bringing Iran into it, meanwhile financing both sides of the situation. Iran is now fighting in Iraq. Uh, and, you know, China and Russia are standing by. They're being agitated in Ukraine with the bombing in Donetsk and in Slavansk right now. Uh, Ukraine is pretty much asking for Russians yeah. to come over with all the bombs that they're dropping on them. Yeah, in fact, um, a, a close um, aide uh, of uh, President Putin, uh, who, ha who has uh, special responsibility for Ukraine, has actually said this week um, that the United States is preparing for... Um, a war against Russia through Ukraine and that what they plan is to try to take Crimea back. Mm. Now um, you can have the odd bit of terrorism and, and bad things happen in Ukraine to Russian supporting people and Putin can stay back and um, hold his fire because he knows what they're trying to manipulate him into. But if they try to take Crimea back, Putin's ego and Putin's pride will no way, I, I would strongly suspect, um, allow him just to let them do it. Exactly. And, and therefore, that if they try to tra take Crimea back, uh, then what you're looking at is a war, uh, or a calculated war against Russia. Yeah. And if you if you start um, a, a front against Russia on its borders, and then all this stuff going on in the Middle East, you are you are diluting Russia's impact on what's happening in the Middle East. Yeah. And uh, it, it's it's the, it's all it's all it's all a setup. Um, and when you have Saudi Arabia and Qatar. There are 51st states of the United States, there are, there are many of those, mind, uh, funding this ISIS and funding this terrorism, while the Americans, who could tell them to stop any time, 
are saying, uh, are, are, are condemning the very terrorism that their 51st states are supporting, well, the picture is so bloody obvious. It's a setup, yeah. and, and it's a setup to um, attempt to trigger World War III. Yeah. And that's why you see Russia trying to back their economy with gold. That's why they're making better uh, business relations with China. They're selling oil to each other right now. And they're moving away from all this. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Putin's ego is very strong. It is, it, you know, it, they could provoke him. And you don't know how Putin will respond. That's what they were discussing at the Bilderberg meeting just a few weeks ago uh, when it came out that they were discussing if they should raise the NATO defense budget. What should they do in Ukraine? And how can we understand Putin? How can we uh, use the situation? Situation with Putin. It came out in the Bilderberg meetings that they're discussing this. So you can only imagine what NATO arms dealers, oil oligarchs of the Western power elite uh, are going to have an interest uh, when it comes to important decisions like this. Is there anything else that we need to understand about this kind of creation of, of war that's happening right in front of our eyes? Well, it's a progression. Um, and you have to connect the dots to see the progression. Uh, going into Afghanistan was stage one, justified by the, the lie about 9-11 and, and who was really behind it. Then they go into Iraq. That has created the situation where this ISIS can now run riot. Um, they want to go down into Africa, uh, and, and so they're creating terrorism all over Africa. Um, and so th one of the big blocks to what they wanted was Colonel Gaddafi. Uh, and so they had to get rid of him. That was, that was what the Libya thing was about, where they trained, armed and funded rebels to attack the uh, Gaddafi regime. Al-Qaeda rebels at that when yeah. we're supposed to be fighting Al-Qaeda. Exactly. Uh, and uh, to, to attack the, um, the Gaddafi regime. And when they responded, it was, he's killing his own people. No, he's responding to people you funded to attack him. And then these rebels and, and others um, then moved into Syria after they'd done the th Thing in Libya and they did the same there and they thought that Syria would go like Libya but it hasn't that's been a big problem yep. for them and when um, uh, they, they, they wanted to, to because they were behind the time they wanted to r push that on that, that's when they, they did the chemical weapons scam which was not Assad's work at all that would have been suicide he's yeah. not that stupid it worked in Iraq once yeah. and then Russia came in stepped in blocked it off and also popular support stopped the war in Syria yeah and your popular, popular, popular rejection of, 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 of bombing another country um, uh, stopped that being pushed on so they, they, they're, they're behind time on Syria but but that moves then into into ISIS. By arming ISIS, the Americans allow them to also supply the, the terrorists in um, in Syria, which they also control. Uh, and um, it's uh, all unfolding with the magician behind or the puppet master behind the behind the scenes. And um, w when we realise that, we can see that events are not random, but coldly calculated. These people are sheer, undiluted evil. And, and people need to understand that.